All right, welcome to the fourth and final game of the evening. This time up, Escape from the Red Planet. Escape from the Red Planet simplifies resource management, tower defense, and first-person mechanics into a singular arcade experience. On the latest mission to Mars, the Orion Third, uh, Orion Three, uh, crash landed with Martian attacks looming. Houston most definitely has a problem. Um, right. So this is a tower defense game that um, is on the even for a tower defense game is on the simple side of things. If I'm being honest. Like, when they say they uh, slimmed this experience down, they were not kidding. Um, now, mind you, you know, uh, things get more complicated over time, but, you know, even then, um, there's only so much this game does. Um, like, I will admit, I didn't get too far in this game. Um, that's mainly because... Uh, I'll be honest, it didn't really hold my interest very long. Um, because, you know, it's been kind of a theme today. Not an intentional one, but um, some, and sometimes this has happened. It's like we get a bunch of games that are, you know, let's say decent-ish, but are really either short or limited or, you know, not there's not a lot of investment there for one reason or another and this game definitely falls under that category um because like you know tower defense games you know while they uh, they can be limited in terms of um placement or something like that uh, can take a while depending on the the circumstances this game um i don't recall it seeing a fast forward button um but anyway uh so what you get is you've got the solar battery here which gives you your solar energy which um is your resource that will provide you with the um the cannons and later on, like, walls and uh, so on and so forth. Like, but the thing is, like, there's, you know, instead of pathways um, where you put the, you know, you put the defense towers and, and whatnot um, alongside, um, the strategy is different, I'll give it that, in that, um, you are directly in the front of the action. That is to say, you put the towers and the defense walls in front of the enemy hordes. You know, so it does have it does have a, a literal fresh perspective on things. And uh, buoyed on that, this is one of those. Um, avatar tower defense games um that is to say uh, you know your uh your robot has uh, has a first person mode in which it can take matters into its own laser cannons and i do mean that literally as there is a dedicated button that shifts the perspective and you can start shooting um martians but <clears throat> the catch is the, um, the robot's laser isn't very powerful. So while you could probably take down a Martian or weaken one, it's not a solution to, it's not a replacement for having an actual tower. So you do have to take that into account. That's basically the game. Like, you know, like I said, um, this game uh, goes for um, the simple arcade style of things. So, um, you know, 
there's a bunch of components here, but ultimately, um, I won't say there's not a lot to it. Um, it's just, you know, it's intentionally limiting itself, um, even among tower defense games, which um, is admirable, but also didn't hold my attention. So, mm. um, um, this game clocks in at six dollars. That's a bit steep for um, what this game is going for. Um, because, okay, um, I think uh, its shift away from the traditional tower defense experience is probably the best thing going for it. Um, the problem is you can get um, many fully featured um, tower defense games um, on Steam for that price or less. Um, so yeah, a bit of a hard recommend there. And yeah, I think that's about all I got for Escape for, uh, from the Red Planet. And sometimes that happens. Uh, yeah, so that'll about do it for not just this review, but the Fragments of Silicon reviews for the week. So that leads us to the week ahead. Um, let me see. So on Wednesday, April 26th, we will be doing a Let's Play session of the game AI Rising. Um, yeah, things did not work out with that particular guest. Um, it happens. Um, it is a bit distressing when it happens at the beginning of a season. But mm -hmm. sometimes it happens. So, yeah. Um, and also we're doing, uh, you know, uh, you know, this game was uh, serving as backup for the season finale. And so it's still kind of in the back pocket, so to speak. And, and let me see. We, um, we do have a Friday show planned. Um, on April 28th, we are hoping to have Robert Backstrom of Aurora Punks on the program. Uh, they have not yet gotten back to us about that. Um, hopefully that will occur in between now and Friday. But if it doesn't happen, then we just don't have the show that week. Mm -hmm. you know. And we do have... Also plans for Wednesday, the return of MSP. Um, I will say the guests for that program have confirmed. So yay that. And I believe Mac has already launched the, re, um, the revamped version of Up Late with Mace, but that's entirely up to him. So um, I think that, you know, that is the only mention we will make of uh, that particular program. So until Wednesday, I shall wish you good gaming. <laughs>